Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am doing a collab. It is the summer makeup collab, summer makeup look collab and I believe there are 13 of us. I will leave a link to the playlist for everybody. In this collab, I want to thank Miss Gloria from Makeup and More with Gloria P for hosting this collab. We are all going to be doing giveaways. So you definitely need to be subscribed to all of us. So publicly subscribed. And I will definitely be checking. So I will talk more about my giveaway later in the video, but definitely, definitely check out all the other ladies, even if you aren't interested in the giveaway, definitely check out that subscription, that description, subscription, description, subscri subscription, description, mm. whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Let me open up my mirror here, and we're going to do a toned down look for summer. Something easy, something simple we are going to do. And yeah, I have got, we're going to start from bare bones. I don't even have primer on, so I'm going to take off my rings here so I can do that. I just decided to start from ground zero. So, okay, let me get some things together. If you're interested in checking this out with me, then hang tight because I'm getting into it. Okay, I do have a lot of products here still, um, but, and add this to it. So it's not like I'm using less products. I'm just using, well, especially my priming products here because I used I use I'm using three products to prime here but I have two mascaras a concealer a powder where is wait where is that a bronzer a cream blush a powder blush a lip stain and an eyebrow gel oh and a eyeliner. Oh, and I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette that I just got. It is the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. You don't have to use eyeshadow if you don't want, but I always like to use eyeshadow. So, okay, I do have all my skincare on. I am just going to start off with, no, I don't want to use that. Let's use this. This is the Moira Coconut Honey Facial Milk for hydrating and restoring. So I have moisturized, but I got, oh, I got really dry skin. So anything to help extra moisturize my skin really helps. So I put this on as well. Always want to get the neck too. And this dries it like, I know my skin is dry because my skin eats this up right away and I use if you see my skincare video you know I use a lot of products in the morning to take care of my skin even in the summertime my skin is dry okay the next thing I do is I let that sink in for just a little bit it doesn't not to say it doesn't take long and I am going to prime my eyes. I I don't have a favorite eye primer, but my favorite right now is this Bella Pierre. Oh, it's so hard to open. This Bella Pierre um, makeup base, I think is what it's called. I just got it in a subscription box makeup base. That's what it's called. And I just use it on my eyes. And when I'm using foundation, I'll use it as a color corrector under my eyes. I'm not going to use it that way today. I'm just going to use concealer today. Which is funny because I don't usually use, con I'm, I've stopped using concealer when I do a full beat of makeup. 
and I usually put about two to three coats of this on my eye, but I'm just putting one coat of it on my eyes today because we're just being easy breezy. And then now that that's soaked in, I'm going to take probably my favorite primer, although I am really struggling to get the rest of this out. This is the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides. It's a nice blurring primer, similar to the Benefit um, Professional, but I think it is definitely a lot better. I want to get some more of this, but I am treasuring the last few drops of this and only use it for days like today when most of my skin is going to be on display. I mean, I'm not going to be covering it up with the foundation or anything. And it really does kind of fill in those pores really well. It's a little pricey, but that's why I'm like <laughs> trying to go really light on using it those last few bits and bobs in there okay now i'm gonna work on my eyes as i usually do my eyes first i'm just going to use some pinks in this palette i'm going to use this one called lo-fi i'm going to use this one here called earthside and then i'm going to use mm, i'm going to decide if i'm going to use this one called fuzz or if i'm going to use this one here called chill I really don't know, but I'm just going to make a really simple look nonetheless. Just simple, simple. Get my hair back a little bit. And, oh yeah, this is a really nice color. I just got this palette and I thought this would make a really nice everyday wearable looks. I was able to snag it on sale at Sephora. They were doing their 4th of July sale, I think. It was only $20. So, I mean, if you're still interested, they might still have it if you want to check that out. And that's all I'm going to do with that. Okay. Clean that same brush off and then go in with Earthside, which is just a little bit darker of a color. A little browner of a color and on my outer corner too okay so I got the look looking nice and easy right there just blend this our side out a little bit into that lo-fi oh this is so pretty And, I mean, just using that lo-fi would be plenty. And I like to add some sparkle to my eyes. I don't know, though, which one I want to use. Hmm. I think I'll go for Fuzz, the pinker one. Keep that pink look going. I'm just going to use my finger and put it on. That is pretty. It's got kind of a duochrome effect to it. Okay, just something real simple. I'm just going to clean up the edges here. I could always do that with concealer though, but anyway. Okay, I'm going to use some eyeliner. The reason I put stuff on my eyes is because when you're doing your makeup, you want to accentuate, even when you're doing just a little bit of makeup, you want to accentuate your best feature. I don't have, I don't have anything here. <laughs> I don't have any lip game. And 
I like my eyes a lot and my eyebrows a lot. So I always want to put something on my eyes. And so I like accentuating my eyes. That's what I like. That's why I like doing my eyes so much. Some people would rather put on more flattering lipstick to show off their lips. And I like my eyelashes a lot. Not always. I put on false eyelashes. That's when I'm doing a real bold look. And I really need bold eyelashes. But I mean, this might be too much for some people and that's fine. But I think it's cute for a daytime look. Okay, now I'm going to use some mascara. I've got a mini of the Bad Gal Bang. I'm just going to do my upper lashes. I'm not going to put any make any um, eyeshadow or anything on my lower lashes. I'm not going to put anything on in my lower lash line. I'm not going to put on any thing in my waterline. I'm not going to put any mascara on my bottom lashes. But I am going to put on some mascara on my upper lashes. This is a very nice mascara. So, what do y'all like to do in the summertime? To tell you what I like to do where I live, I like to stay indoors because it is hot. I like to stay out of the sun, but really we're going to go to a fireworks show um, on the 3rd, which I don't know, around here, they always do the fireworks on the 3rd. I'm not sure why they don't do them on the 4th anymore. Okay, I used that mascara for length. And now I really want some volume. So I'm going in with the Kosas, the, uh, the Big Clean mascara. And I'm going to coat my lashes with that one. Okay, those are two mascaras I find. Don't smudge. That's why I don't put any on my bottom lash because... When I'm out in the heat, your bottom lashes are more likely to run and smudge and get all over your face. So I don't recommend putting it, if you're going to go outside, I don't recommend you putting it on your bottom lash line. Okay, or makeup in general, or um, eye makeup in general. Okay, moving right along, I am going to put this NYX. Bear with me, concealer serum. I'm going to put two pumps on my hand here. And then I'm just going to take a brush and put it on my, under my eyes. I'm just using concealer today. This is probably my favorite concealer. My favorite drugstore concealer, at least. And I'm going to put some spot conceal in places. I'm also going to put some just in some places where I would normally put concealer. Okay, then I'm just going to work it in and out with my, what is this? It is an e.l.f. sponge. And it matches my skin tone pretty good. Okay, so this feels really nice. It doesn't feel like I've got heavy conceal. I mean, foundation on. It's nice. My skin feels like it can breathe. <laughs> and yeah, let's go on to a bronzer. I just have this milk cream bronzer. In the summertime, I'm more likely to wear cream products um, as far as base stuff goes. Cream bronzers and cream highlighters, cream blushes, things of that nature. 
So uh, I'm just gonna work that in. I like this milk bronzer I'm using. It's just a sample I've got, but it has lasted me so long. Other bronzers I've enjoyed were, uh, I'm enjoying is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer as far as drugstore goes. Higher end, I absolutely love the Rare Beauty Cream Stick Bronzer and the Make It By Mario one. The stick one. I just ordered the contour wand from e.l.f. So I'm going to be trying that one out soon. So we shall see. I haven't tried a lot of drugstore cream blush, cream bronzers. I'm less into liquid. Bronzers and blushes. Although I'm not totally opposed to them. Okay. So we've got that going on. And then let me see here. I've got for blush, I've got the Makeup by Mario, the Soft Pop. Is that what it says? Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in Barely Blushing. So I've been really liking this. I got this as a birthday present to myself. Okay, now we've got the plush on. Of course, something always has to fall down, doesn't it? Okay, I've got this other blush. This is the powder, a powder highlighter, but it I use it as a blush topper. I am not putting on any highlighter today, except this. This, this is called a highlighter, but I use it as a blush topper, like I just said. So I'm going to go over that blush with this. And this will double as my highlighter. It also kind of gives me a sunburned look that we that is kind of popular in the makeup <laughs> in the makeup world these days. I think it started last, I mean, I don't know when it started. It could have started 20 years ago. But some people like to do that. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to use my NYX Brow Mascara and put just um, darken up my brows. I'm not going to fill in my brows. I'm just going for a natural look with my brows. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, just to finish off the eyes, I am going to go in that chill into that chill shade and just, uh, I gotta be extra, I'm sorry. Just pop those eyes a little bit. But guess what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna put on a lip, which may surprise some of y'all. I am going to put on a lip oil though. This is just the Ciate, right? Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Lip Oil. Let me clean that off. It's just a little sample I got. It's just a clear lip oil because I love lip oils. Mm -hmm. Oh, it tastes like coconut. Just a simple lip oil. Because I got the eyes going and I've got the cheeks going. I just thought I would leave the lips alone this time to make it really simple. So this is my summer look for this collaboration. Let me know what you think down below. Okay, notice I didn't use any powder. I brought it out, but I am not using any of it because I think everything looks just fine. I'm not going to set my concealer or anything like that, which I normally would, but I think I have a nice dewy look that I want to keep going. I want to keep it going all day long. So yeah. 
Okay, let's talk about the giveaway. Okay, like I said, everybody is doing a giveaway. So, um, mine is, and everybody's is supposed to be summer themed. So, I am a makeup channel. I do makeup most of the time. I would say 90% of the time I do makeup. So, my giveaway is going to be a, a surprise, a a surprise giveaway I'm not gonna tell you the items in it but I am gonna tell you that it is makeup and skincare items so if you don't like any of that you might not want to join you might not want to enter my giveaway okay you do need to be a you need to live or have an address in the 48 um, states and um, yeah have be 18 or older and know that uh, YouTube or any of the items that I am giving away are not associated with this giveaway. Okay, what the, the um, giveaway is going to end on this date here. I will pick a winner. I will usually follow my community tab because that's where I usually post who the winner is. I don't make videos anymore on who the winner is because um, I just don't. <laughs> I just don't do that anymore. Okay, if you want to enter, leave a comment down below using the word vacation. And yeah, let me know if you've gone on vacation, if you're going on vacation, your favorite vacation, anything like that. I would love to hear it. Please. I am getting something to fix that problem soon. I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Enter to get a chance to win. Be sure you are publicly subscribed to everybody in this collaboration. Go check out everybody in this collaboration. Thank you again, Gloria, for putting this together. Please give this video a like if you like this video i would really really appreciate it thank you all for watching to this point i really really appreciate you even if you are not participating in this collab i would love it if you would consider subscribing hitting that notification bell setting it to all and so that you are notified every time that I upload a new video. Okay, I hope y'all are all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day today. If you're having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you and sending you out all of those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you in another video soon, hopefully. If you're new here, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay. All right. Just stay well until then. Goodbye.